With iOS 26, Apple's been busy giving a fresh, glassy new look to many of its apps. And Safari got one of the biggest upgrades. From a new translucent UI to useful quality of life changes, Safari is finally stepping up as a serious competitor among mobile browsers. In this video, I'll break down everything that's new with Safari in iOS 26, including hidden features and real-world tips to help you browse smarter, not harder. Let's get started. Okay, when you open the Safari app, the first thing you will notice is the new liquid glass design. If you're still on iOS 18, you can either get the public beta of iOS 26 or wait just a bit to get the iOS 26 public release very soon. The address bar, toolbar and the tab bar now have the sleek translucent finish. They kind of float over the page, giving everything a cleaner edge to edge look. The animation changes based on what you're doing on the screen. If you're not a fan of having the address bar at the bottom of the screen, don't worry, you can change that. Head to settings, scroll down, go to apps, tap on Safari. Under the tab section, you will see options for tab bar or single tab, top or bottom. Pick whatever feels more natural to you. I personally like the bottom tab bar. It's easier to reach with one hand, especially on larger phones. We've got tons more to cover, including tab groups, profiles, pin tabs, privacy upgrades, and more. Let's keep going. Did you know that there is a feature in Safari called Profiles? Profiles are a way to segregate your personal, work and other browsing sessions. You go to your personal profile, all your personal tabs, history, bookmarks are available there. If you switch to your work profile in Safari, your work-related bookmarks, tabs and history is ready for use. No need to mix them up. I personally use profiles for work, personal and learning, so I can quickly jump between them without losing focus. To set it up, go to settings, search for Safari, tap add profile, give it a name like work or personal, choose its own favorites and start browsing. The best part is once you enable it on your iPhone, your Mac, iPad also syncs and you will get this option to switch profiles on all the devices. To switch between profiles on your iPhone while in Safari, tap the three dots, select all tabs. At the top, you will see the profile selector. Tap it to switch. It's the perfect feature for anyone juggling multiple roles or responsibilities and wanting to keep things organized. If you've ever been planning a surprise gift for your partner, organizing a birthday party or researching something personal, Private browsing is your best friend. The beauty is, you can keep all those tabs open for later without anyone accidentally discovering your plans. Private browsing in Safari now stays locked behind Face ID. So even if someone picks up your phone, those tabs remain hidden until you unlock them. Open Safari, tap the three dots in the corner, select Private tab. Now you can browse freely. And when you revisit the tab later, Safari will prompt for Face ID before showing anything. If you don't see the option, go to Settings, Safari. Make sure Require Face ID to unlock private browsing is turned on. It's perfect for keeping your birthday surprises, vacation plans or sensitive research private without losing your peace. Most of you probably already use tabs in Safari. To open a new tab, tap the three dots, select new tab. Now, to see your existing tabs, tap the three dots, select all tabs. From here, you can choose a window to open or tap the plus icon to create a new page. Quick tip, you can also swipe left or right to the address bar to quickly jump between pages in your current tab group. Keep swiping to cycle through them and swipe one more time to create a new page. Now, when you're in all tabs view, you will notice different tab groups here like private, shopping, work or home. Tab groups are a lifesaver if you have too many tabs open. To create or move tabs into a group from all tabs, long press on the page you want to move, tap move tab, choose an existing tab group or tap new tab group. 
Give it a name and you're all set. And here's the best part. You can pin important tabs so they always stay at the top. Tap and hold a tab, select pin tab. Pin tabs stay put even if you close and reopen Safari. Plus, each profile has its own tab groups so your work tabs won't mix up with your weekend browsing. If you've ever tried reading an article or a book in Safari and found your focus constantly broken by ads and pop-ups, this feature is a lifesaver. Here's how it works. Tap this icon next to the address bar, select hide distracting items, tap on any ad or section you want to remove, watch it vanish instantly with a smooth animation. While it would be nice to select and hide multiple elements at once, this tool still makes a huge difference. It strips away the clutter so you can focus entirely on the content. Perfect for reading long form articles, recipes or online books without constant interruptions. Okay, before we move on, I want to quickly give a shout out to Macbag for sponsoring this part of the video. If you've been watching my content for a while, you have probably noticed I always have the Macbag Classic case on my iPhone 15 Pro and the Elite case on my iPhone 16 Pro Max. I love them both for different reasons. The classic case feels soft, comfortable and grippy in hand, perfect for daily use. The Elite case feels extra secure and even comes as a set with both the case and the screen protector. The best part, it includes a screen protector application frame that makes installation ridiculously easy. Once it's on, you can barely tell it's there. It's that sleek. I also love that the Elite case comes with color changing button accessories so I can swap them depending on my mood. The Elite case is a premium offering and retails for $80 but it's one of the best cases in the market which has four big advantages. One, it's a super rugged and protective case while still feeling not so bulky in my hand or pocket. Second, the grips on the side makes the phone, especially a large one like iPhone 16 Pro Max, feel secure in my hand. Third, it comes with a built-in kickstand which lets me watch videos on landscape mode, again without adding any bulk. And fourth, the magnets on this case is one of the strongest I've ever seen. It can literally stick on the side of my car and I feel very confident to drive off. It allows me to stick my phone to refrigerator to watch videos, attach it to my wireless charger in the dark without fumbling around, and attach MagSafe accessories like MagPack wallet super firmly onto the case. The best part is, all their accessories work well in tandem, like the Elite case and MagBack wallet. I've been genuinely impressed with their products, so if you're looking for high-quality iPhone accessories, definitely check out the link in the description for more details. Now let's get back to Safari tips. If there is a website you visit every single day, maybe your work dashboard, a recipe site, your kid's school portal, or even a project management tool, you don't have to keep opening Safari and typing it in. Instead, you can add it straight to your home screen and use it just like an app. Here's how you can add it to the home screen. Open the website in Safari, long press on the address bar, tap the share icon, then tap more and select add to home screen. Give it a name and tap add. Now you will see an app like icon on your home screen. Tap it and the site will open in its own standalone window. No browser control, no extra clutter. Web apps have gotten even better. They can now send push notifications, support offline use and run faster. It's a simple feature, but it makes everyday browsing way more convenient and puts your most used sites just one tap away. If you have ever wondered how much tracking happens while you're browsing, Safari's privacy report gives you a front row seat. It's like having a security guard who not only blocks the shady stuff, but also shows you exactly what was stopped. Here's how to see it. While on any website, tap this icon, then the three dots, click on privacy report. You will get a detailed report showing how many trackers Safari blocked, which companies tried to track you, and security warnings, if any. Why this matters is, it's not just tech trivia, this information helps you decide which sites you can trust. For example, if you're about to make a purchase and the privacy report shows dozens of trackers and suspicious activity, you might think twice. The report is more detailed, breaking things down per site 
and updating in real time. It's a simple habit to tap that shield now and then. It keeps you informed, helps you browse smarter and gives you peace of mind knowing Safari's got your back. If you're someone who uses focus mode to keep your life organized, here's a feature you will love. You can now link Safari profiles and tab groups directly to specific focus modes. This means when you switch to work focus, Safari automatically loads your work profile with only productive tabs like emails, documents and project tools. When you switch to personal focus, Safari can instantly change your personal profile showing your favorite shopping sites, news or streaming services. Here's how to set it up. After you create profiles for Safari, now link focus modes. Go to settings, focus and either select an existing focus or create a new one. In your chosen focus, tap add filter and then select Safari. Under filter type, Choose Profile and select the Safari profile you want to link to the focus. When you activate this focus, Safari will automatically switch to the linked profile. This tip removes the temptation to check unrelated tabs when you're supposed to be working and keeps personal browsing separate when you're off the clock. It's a small tweak that can make a big difference in staying focused and productive throughout your day. Here are a few quick but incredibly handy Safari tricks you might not be using. This is perfect for when you're scrolling through a long article or recipe and need to look at something specific. Just tap on the address bar, write the word you are trying to look for, then scroll here and select find cookie on this page. Safari will highlight all the matches instantly. Click on the arrow here to look for all the places where the word is mentioned. Do you see an image you want to share or save? Long press it, then select copy subject. Safari will intelligently remove the background so you can just paste the subject directly into messages, notes or any other app. You can select just copy to copy the entire image and paste it directly elsewhere. This saves me a lot of steps. If you come across a word, phrase or name you're curious about, Highlight it and choose Look Up. Safari will instantly bring up definitions, related websites or even Siri knowledge. No need to open a new tab. If you want to change the font size of your browser, tap this icon in the address bar and choose between the two sizes here to adjust. Safari remembers your preference for that site, so you don't have to change it every time. These are small touches, but they make everyday browsing faster, cleaner and more enjoyable. And that's a wrap. I hope you found a few new tricks today that you can start using right away. If you've got your own favorite Safari feature that I didn't cover, drop it in the comments. I would love to hear how you're using Safari in iOS 26. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tips, Apple updates and tech tricks. Also, check out my videos on how to install iOS 26 developer beta and my first impressions. Links are in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.